Hello world, Shelly here, and it's time for another episode of Concealer Fest, and I have more Aldi makeup, actually. It's the only other Aldi makeup thing I have. Well, I did get two of those eyeshadow palettes. I only filmed one of them so far. Anyway, it's the concealer from La Cura, which is their brand. Uh, I'm just gonna put this up to the camera, and you can tell me what you think this is gonna be a dupe for. What do you think? What, what does this remind you of, huh? I got this in shade 3. I'm not sure how many shades there were. It was $5.99 at my Aldi. Let's take a look at the applicator on here. I don't really have a ton of product description for you because I got it at Aldi, but... I'm going to go ahead and assume that we're duping out tart shape tape here with that big fat doe foot applicator they got going on here. Let's take a look at shade three, swatched against a few others in my collection. Swatch time. First up is today's concealer from La Cura, the Bold Cover Concealer in shade three. Second, I've got from NARS, the Radiant Creamy Concealer in vanilla. Third up is Tarte Shape Tape in fair. And last I've got from Maybelline, the Age Rewind in Fair. I've already got my foundation on. You're going to see that on Friday. I'm testing out the CoverGirl Simply Ageless Essence. My worry is that this shade 3, which was the lightest one they had in stock when I was there at my Aldi, will be a little too dark. Oh, it might be. Whoa, it smells like perfume. Whew. 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 There's fragrance for sure. That, oh my goodness. Oh wow, oh wow. That would probably keep me from using this because whew, I mean, that's a very little amount of product. It's not like even a foundation and I am like, my eyes are nearly watering. Holy tamole, that's some that's some strong stuff. There's our brush blend. Ah, does not have immediate shape tape like coverage. Let's try a damp sponge here. Shape tape on me, I used to wear it all the time. If you go back in my early videos, I wore it a lot <laughs> and uh, it's it's great coverage. I really only stopped wearing it because it dries me out a little bit. And I kind of stopped wearing concealer a lot anyway. But uh, sponge seemed to take away all the coverage. So... Mm. Alright, let's go in here with just a smidge more. At my age... Due to the condition of lines under my eyes, I can't pile on the concealer and draw the big old triangle like people used to do. Like that just, I can't have that much product under my eyes because it will just emphasize all my lines under my eyes and I don't want to emphasize the lines under my eyes. So yeah, we're gonna stick with brush here. This is a yellow undertone for sure. I am a cool undertone, neutral to cool, so this is a bit too warm toned for me. If you are lucky enough to find makeup at your Aldi, I just say that so you know, that's what shade three is. It's pretty warm toned. I mean, I can tell there's a little bit of coverage because I can see it as being darker than my foundation, but it's really just kind of leaving a yellow tint and not really covering my dark circles. Let me zoom you guys in. So, yeah, it kind of just solidified all the lines and creases under my eyes. Now just look like a roadmap of creases and lines under my eyes. It's, it's tinting yellow, like I can tell the product is there, but all the purple is still there as well, which is kind of ironic to me because the color I would use to cancel out my purple is kind of this like 
a little bit more of a burnt orange than this, but this is, this should be canceling out some of that purple. And I don't feel like it really is. This also looks like a really dry formula, which does not bode well for those of us with dry skin or just dry under eyes. If you have any tendency to get crepey under your eyes, I do, then that's the kind of thing that this type of a formula accentuates instead of smoothing it over. So I'm not the hugest fan of how this looks for dry and maturing skin specifically. Uh, but I'm going to continue, I'm gonna put the rest of my face on and uh, I'll come back, go about my day, we'll check in and we're, oh, all right, let's roll. Uh, mm, mm, mm. Place your bets. What do you think this one's gonna come out to grade wise? Well, place your, place your bets in the comments. Let me go put the rest of my face on. I will be right back. Okay, back with the Lacura concealer. Uh, it just kind of locked all my lines in place. And here's the thing. What I want out of a concealer is coverage of my dark circles and a smoothing or at least a de-emphasis on the lines underneath my eyes, the fine lines. Obviously, I'm not gonna change like that deep crease that is like just the shape of my eye but like the micro lines that are on that space beneath, you know, I don't wanna see them. Uh, so it's kind of just locked them into place and it's not doing any smoothing. And it's got a little bit of coverage, but I feel like my dark circles, especially because I did a smoky eye, like that's, that's how I know for sure I can see my dark circles because it looks almost like fallout and it's not, it's my eyes. So, not super stoked on that, but everything I'm wearing is linked down below and I'm gonna wear this all day. I'll come back tonight. You can see if maybe the wear is fantastic and that's gonna boost it up. Maybe the wear will be terrible and it's gonna be bad. That's why I do the all day test. So we'll find out. I'll come back tonight. We will see how this one wore. 12.04 a.m. We're right around the 10 hour mark. Let's take a look at how the Lacura Bold Cover Concealer from Aldi held up. Well, not great. It's not drying, kind of surprisingly. I don't feel any kind of dryness or tightness. I don't see micro wrinkles showing up that wouldn't normally be visible. What it did do is all the lines that it was like originally cracked upon got wider. So there's like missing product mapping out a grid of lines. Just it, I look like a road map under my eyes. <laughs> Let's zoom in so you can see this. So... Yeah, that's basically what it did. Like, there's a road map of, it's almost like a map of, I uh, like I'm, I don't know, looking at veins or something because all the purple of my under eye <laughs> is what's coming through in the places where the concealer has cracked apart. And it was already cracked apart from, you know, the get-go, from, from minute one. But it just got more pronounced in certain spots. It also didn't wear very well. Like on my my right eye, my non-nose ring side, the, it, it almost looks like some of the product like caked up and moved itself around. Whereas on the other side, it looks like a lot of it just disappeared because I feel like I'm looking at bare skin where some of my dark circles are. So. It just, it just, it's not the worst thing ever. If, if it felt terrible, it would be the worst thing ever. But if I had to give a grade to the Lacura Bold Cover Concealer, it's a D minus. The only thing holding it back from a failing grade is that it feels fine. It didn't dry me out. And, and that is an accomplishment. I have very dry skin. We're in the middle of winter, so that is an accomplishment. I'll give it a little credit for that. Uh, maybe this will work better on super young 
under eyes that don't have any lines. Yeah, that's that's probably where they're going with this one. So there you have it. This one is not for me. I love the Aldi eyeshadows. No bueno on the Aldi concealer, unfortunately. And that's about all the Spanish I know. I can say, mi gato es en el garaje a la izquierda. I know, it's not going to do me any good. I think I can ask where the bathroom is and say I, I, I go on the bus. <laughs> That's all I remember. <laughs> there you have it. Another episode of Concealer Fest is in the books. If you like concealer reviews, if you had fun with this one, give me a thumbs up down below. Let me know in the comments. What would you like to see next? Foundations, concealer, just let me know what you want me to take a look at. I keep a running list. I buy stuff whenever humanly possible. I have a $15 Sephora gift card. It's not going to get me very far. But I actually went on Sephora's website today and I was like, eh, there was one new brand I hadn't heard of that has a a, a BB cream or a foundation, but I didn't order it because it just didn't... Mm. So let me know. Give me some suggestions. I can't have a gift card burning a hole in my pocket. <laughs> As always, thanks a lot for taking some time out of your day to geek out over makeup with me. Check me out on Patreon. Go follow me on my Facebook page, which I am reviving and bringing back to life. And I appreciate your time. I hope you guys all have an awesome day or night wherever you are in the world. Take care of each other. Bye-bye.